Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I downloaded this picture of a fairy from a Google or a search engine. All I did was I typed into the search bar fairy coloring book pages, and I came up with quite a few um, that I liked, but I really like this one. Um, so I'm not going to show you the whole process at this point, but I will have the process outlined as to how to select a picture from any search engine of your choice, um, find the right one for you, and resize it after you copy and paste the image into a word processing document. Um, this method gives you pretty much a way to download any picture that you want from the internet and use it for art um, projects like this one as far as I'm going to use mine for uh, painting a fairy rock. Um, I do like to use a base image when I start. I don't always like to copy everything, but I do like to embellish it from a base image. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So use um, whatever picture you like, but if you type into Google anything like fairy coloring book pages or fairy images, um, flower coloring book pages, anything like that, you can use this method. Um, so once you copy it using the method that I will have outlined somewhere on this blog post or in the description box, I will leave links to other information or videos as to how to get to this point. But it's basically just a copy and paste method. Um, if you click on any picture on the internet that you find, you can select copy and then just you can just paste it into a word processing document. So it's basically a copy and paste, like I said. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but it's very easy to do. And then when you get it into the word processing document, it's going to be fairly true to size as to what it's going to print out. So that's why this is a great way to um, print out any picture from the internet and use it. Um, you can basically just hold up your rock to the, to the picture and see it is going to fit. So this is the rock I'm going to use. It's going to fit. And then if I wanted it bigger, I click on it and then grab the corner and I can make it bigger or smaller like that. If I want to do a reverse, I can go up to picture format up here. I don't know if you can see that picture format and then I can, I can do a rotate. Maybe you can see this up at the top. Rotate, I can flip it horizontally, but I don't want to do that. I want it to print out the way it was, so I want to flip it back. Um, so there we go. You can add borders to it. You can make it borderless. You can do so much in word processing. Um, so anyway, I'm going to just print it out as is. Uh, I think I'm going to put no border, no outline. And there we go. I think that's about the size that I want. You just got to click around. You got to play with it. But hopefully this gives you a good idea on how you can um, get pictures for rock paintings. Um, so there we go. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I hope you'll join me again for another rock painting tutorial or another craft project and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.